everyone and welcome back to English reading practice. So this is the video number two for English reading practice and today I have choose the topic which is on the seasons. Okay, so now without any further ado, let's begin the video. This year is divided into four seasons. Seasons, okay. Spring, summer, autumn and winter. How many seasons are there? Four. Number one is spring. Summer, autumn, and winter. Each season has its own unique characteristics. I repeat, characteristics. Spring brings new life. Flowers bloom and trees begin to glow. Leaves again. The weather is usually mild, making it, making it a great time for outdoor activities. I repeat, making it a great time for outdoor activities. Outdoor activity means that the activities for which you have to move out of your home or any other place. Like suppose a basketball, badminton, cricket. So these are the outdoor activities. Indoor, tennis. Tennis is the indoor activities. Playing chess, it also we can consider as an indoor activity. Okay. Now let's move further. Summer. Is a warm and sunny. People often go on vacations. Now it is saying that summer is warm and sunny. Warm and sunny. People often go on vacations. Spend time at the beach and enjoy and enjoy barbecues. It's a season of fun and relaxation. And uh, if you live in India, then you know that students also get summer holidays for about two or three months. So yeah, summer is a, a relaxation season. Autumn. Now we are talking about the autumn. We are done with spring. We are done with summer. Now we are talking about autumn season. Autumn is known for its beautiful colors. Leaves change from green to shades of red, orange and yellow. The weather cools down and it's time for harvest crops. Harvest crops. Now, winter. Winter is cold and offers snowy. People celebrate holidays and enjoy activities like silkinch and ice skating. It's a time of cozy fires and warm drinks. Each season bring its own beauty and joys. Now we are done with this reading session today and I will be uploading daily video for reading practice in English. If you are a beginner or an intermediate, this videos will really gonna help you. So for that videos, make sure to subscribe this channel. I will be meeting you in the next session. Till then, Hare Krishna, stay tuned. Bye.